Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Glitch 2.0 from Saleil Zumbrun. Uh, who is Saleil? She is a graphic artist. She's a Swiss designer. She actually lives here in the United States uh, and she actually lives out in San Francisco. Uh, this is her second Kickstarter project. She first released uh, the first Glitch cards. So this is Glitch 2.0. She had a previous Glitch uh, deck that sold out. And so basically what she wanted to do was release another edition uh, in some new colors. So Glitch 2.0 is actually two different decks. Uh, the first deck was called Circuit Fail, and it was more of a green color. Um, this one is called Error Message, and as you can see, it's kind of a gold and black with some yellow, and then there's like this reflective green that's even in there too. The unique thing about these cards is that they are all printed uh, in neon uh, fluorescent Pantone spot colors. And so it really uh, adds to the element that this deck has been offset. So when you look at these cards, they really do look like their namesake, that they're offset or that they're misprint cards and glitch. The tuck ace is completely uh, just design only. You can see there's no words there. Uh, you can actually see the spade tip begin there and it wraps around and uh, it's just all over this reflective foil. Then the bottom that has some ad copy about Legends playing card and a UPC, but pretty much that's it. Uh, there's no tuck seal on the flap, which is nice. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, uh, Glitch 2.0, it's all printed in neon. These are fluorescent Pantone spot colors. Every single one of these cards is unique, okay? Every single one of these cards is playable. You're gonna see recognizable pips and indices, of course. You're gonna see very recognizable court cards as well. However, every shape, every number, every letter, every glitch, right, has been worked and reworked. When Saleil was making this deck, she actually did the entire deck as a mock-up first by hand, which means she had to take cards and cut them up and then reassemble them just to get the look she wanted. And then she refined all of it in Illustrator. Like I said, these cards are from the Legends Playing Card Company and they are a very smooth, very thick, very snappy stock. Um, if you've ever had a deck of Legends uh, before, you kind of know what their stock and paper feels like. The back design appears to almost be a quad design. You can see the segmentation like right there and then right there. And so it's this curled uh, arc that is, you, if you, like, you can imagine that if you cut this card into force and then reassembled it, uh, it would look like maybe what the deck was supposed to look like before it glitched. Uh, as you can also see, there's like a bar of orange here and here and here, almost like the, the color was offset again uh, when it was printed. Your Ace of Spades is nice and bold and uh, done in that really offset Pantone uh, neon color. You can see the black and the, the weird funky like aqua turquoise there and it does say glitch 2.0 underneath the spade pip. With this deck you're going to get two very glitchy jokers and as you can start to see how the deck takes its name, you know the offset printing there, just the weird typeface and then you have the offset color as well. Uh, it's, it's a really cool very interesting deck. Well that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks.